So we're here at our uh, ag facility, uh, our barn here where we house our livestock animals and currently we're in our ag mechanic shop. Um, we, uh, here we teach a bunch of different ag mech classes. Uh, the ag mech classes that I teach are agriculture fabrication and design and the agriculture practicum class. Uh, there's a, a ton of things that our students learn. Uh, this particular class is an advanced class, so the students should have a pretty good basis for uh, shop safety, knowing how to run machinery, and right now we're really trying to refine their skills, but most importantly, I think in this class, uh, the students learn a lot about safety. Uh, a lot of these students maybe want to have some sort of career path with this, uh, and it teaches them every day to have some responsibility and accountability of each other that if we're not safe, uh, the environment we're in uh, is ultimately a risk at everyone around. So safety is probably the biggest thing. Uh, and then next is just developing uh, just a skill and a passion for this. A lot of these students have been in these classes uh, and now they're kind of refining their skills and specifically learning the more appropriate and effective ways to weld or more appropriate ways to run a cutting torch or maybe uh, more efficiently building a project. And ultimately at the end of the day, the students are responsible for getting dressed on their own, getting out here, getting working, uh, and then getting their area cleaned up. Uh, they can work with all the tools and equipment that they want, but if they're not responsible for everything that they've used and can't clean it up, it's not going to be really effective. So uh, it definitely uh, increases their ability uh, to have some accountability and some responsibility. There's tons of different avenues that our students can take uh, in, in being in these agriculture mechanics classes uh, here in Deer Park specifically is a really unique opportunity. Uh, the shop and facility that we have here is second to none. Uh, the ability that the students have and the access they have to all of the unique equipment we have here really is going to provide them and give them a foundation if they want to pursue a career. And being in this part of the state specifically surrounded by so many different oil and gas refineries uh, and there's so many opportunities uh, that they provide from a job standpoint whether that's working in an office working in the shop welding managing uh, the next thing uh, is just kind of having just a general idea of kind of how a shop needs to be run and maintained uh, keeping facilities clean keeping machinery and equipment uh, at a functioning level uh, is very important and then another thing uh, specifically that a lot of students in our program uh, go on to do is eventually welding and there's tons of different ways that uh, welding can be done uh, and there's a lot of job opportunities around here with that uh, and companies want uh, those young people that have a basis and an idea how to weld but want people uh, that have some drive some work ethic some motivation uh, and the other thing here in our program there's different certifications we can get. Uh, in recent history, uh, we've gotten NCCR certifications, which is a safety certification. And also this year, uh, we're starting a certification uh, through AWS or the American Welding Society. Uh, basically, those students can get certifications based off the quality of their welds if they pass. So uh, throughout the year, uh, our students are gonna be doing different kinds of welds. Uh, and ultimately, they're gonna be able to gain certifications through that. So, when they go to graduate high school and apply for a job, the certifications that they have, the history that they have being involved in our program is only gonna make them a more sought after applicant. You know, I, I think big picture, what kind of Deer Park um, just kind of preaches uh, and has preached for years, and I think that's the reason our district has just been able uh, to have so much longevity, is just making reliable, responsible, and genuine students. There's no doubt being in these agriculture program, mechanics programs specifically, they learn how to weld, use a cutting torch, be safe, all those different things. But my main thing is, uh, and, and our goal specifically here in the ag department, is just to make young people that are respectful, reliable, uh, and can hold their, themselves accountable. I think in today's times, uh, a lot of people uh, definitely have the skills and the ability but man, they just don't have a bunch of drive and work ethic. And honestly, at the end of the day, we just want young people to leave our program that have a passion for this and want to make a career out of it.